Okay, let's talk about posing. When I started out as a photographer, one of the first things I did, I remember, was to go out and get a posing guide created by some very famous photographer. That posing guide had advertised something like 125 poses for all kinds of situations, sitting, standing, lying down, and, and so on. I bought it, paid a ton of money for it, and as I was looking through it, I noticed something. All of the models used in the pose had the same body type. They were all young and skinny and had this, you know, so-called, you know, perfect shapes and uh, their skin was unblemished and all kinds of things like that. The kind of uh, people you'd see in like ads and fashion and, and all of that. So I went back to this photographer and uh, asked them uh, in an email, like, how does this work for people who do not look like that? And their response was, well, you can adapt all of these poses to, to, uh, to any body type. And I was like, really? Then why haven't you shown any examples? Why aren't there any examples around of how these poses are used? And as I kept asking, people, it became apparent that the expectation was as the body type keeps, keeps shifting from that norm, the number of poses that you get to use becomes smaller and smaller. So for example, if a person is larger, then you only take the poses that are shooting them from the top or from above to make them slimmer. If a person has, you know, like larger thighs, for example, then you choose the poses that are hiding those, uh, those thighs. So there's a lot of like, the idea is that posing is about making people look more and more like that standard body type, the standard of beautiful. So basically what happens when a, when a, when a person deviates from that, that beauty norm far enough, like when they are you know, larger or, or have other kinds of like, you know, body to, uh, shape differences, you end up just taking headshots. Basically, they're like five poses out of those 125 that you are supposed to use. That's kind of ridiculous. So I don't actually believe in posing. I don't think anyone wants to be a poser. I think, and what I do, is start with your body. Start with how my client's body works, and then how they move, how they stand, how they sit, what they do naturally, and then tweak from there. Tweak it so that they look their best, they are exuding the emotion that they want to convey through their body language. That is the purpose of posing for my clients. My clients are not, you know, they are entrepreneurs, they're authors and speakers, and they are trying to connect with their audience. They're not trying to look like models. And so for me, what's important to them, uh, to me and to them, is how do we tell their story through their bodies and through their images? That is my take on posing.